So why do we need loudness? Why can't we carry on doing what we're doing? Surely everything is fine. Well, perhaps not. Loudness-related issues represent a significant number of complaints for all broadcasters. Add to that, our production and transmission workflows are changing, becoming digital from end to end. And the need for higher productivity means that more multi-skilled staff producing content from conception to transmission. So things really have changed, and not always for the better. So what do we need to do differently? Well, firstly, we need to stop only using peak reading meters and definitely stop normalizing to peak level. Secondly, we need to stop hitting the zero as hard as possible because we want this program to be as loud as it can go. These techniques have been developed to get around the maximum peak level and make the content louder while still meeting the peak level specs. And thirdly, don't just add a processor unit that promises to make your content loudness compliant. So what's different about mixing to loudness? The great news about working to these new loudness standards is we can use our ears again. As audio professionals, we're now back in the driving seat and we can determine how a program will sound, confident in what we mix will be what the consumer enjoys. It's also essential that we set our monitor speaker levels and then mix using our ears. And the amazing thing is that it will come out right because we've actually got an excellent loudness measurement device built into our heads. When we do all of this, we can actually deliver mixes live within a 1 dB tolerance. In this series, we're going to take a look at the history of metering, the way the new loudness standard has been developed, and how the different delivery specifications around the world are all based on one universal standard. We'll show you how to calibrate your monitor speakers, which is an essential part in mixing to loudness, before moving on to some tips and tricks on how to mix to comply to the new standards.